Hello everyone. Welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7 series. In this series, we have been exploring the solution for previous year competitive exam papers. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's dive into today's problem. So today we will tackle a question from 2019 University of Hyderabad PhD entrance exam question. According to this question, this substrate reacts with LDA in room temperature that produce intermediate X. So this intermediate X is then convert into the product Y under this reaction condition. So here you see there are four options. Let's find out the correct one together. The first step of this reaction involves LDA. We have already discussed LDA in previous videos. If you missed to watch that, don't worry, you can find the link in the description box. So LDA or lithium diisopropylamide is a non-nucleophilic, sterically filtered, strong base that readily abstract the protons from acidic position in your molecules. So generally, LDA is useful for the generation of unilate ions by abstracting the protons from less hinted side. So apart from this, LDA can be used to abstract the protons from benzylic position and even acetic protons on aromatic ring. Now you come to the our substrate. So this substrate has three acetic position having acetic proton. However, this acetic proton is more acidic because LDA prefer to abstract the proton from more acidic position. So why this proton is more acidic? Since this proton residing at in between this carbon bromine as well as this carbon methoxy. So these two groups are inductively withdraw the electrons from this particular carbon side, which makes that this proton is more acidic. So when compared to this position, this position is less acidic when compared to this proton. Since this proton residing at in between, this carbon carbon group as well as this carbon methoxy group. So here you see this methylene group release the electron from this side while this methoxy group withdraw the electron by inductively. So therefore this position is less acidic when compared to this. And similarly this benzylic position is less acidic when compared to this proton. Therefore LDA prefer to abstract this proton to produce this corresponding carbon ion. Now you see this electron shifted here and followed by kick of Br- minus to produce this corresponding benzene intermediate. So this benzene intermediate going to react with this alkene by in reaction before moving that. So here we should note that regiochemistry of this particular reaction, how this benzene going to react with this alkene. So for that we should see the electronics of benzene. So I hope that most of them aware about the benzene regioselectivity issues. So if you go through the textbook, so you can easily get the how the regioselectivity affects that present the groups near to this intermediate. For example, in benzene, so methoxy group is electron withdrawing group. However, most of them definitely will get some doubt because methoxy group also do electron releasing character by mesomerically. However, whenever you deal the benzene, so you just forget about the mesomeric effect because if you consider here this triple bond, so we know that single bond have its form and when it come to the pi bond formed from the p orbital of this carbon as well as p orbital of this carbon to produce this pi bond. So this pi bond present in the conjugation, let's come to the pi bond present at the outside. So this pi bond is formed in between sp2 hybrid orbital of this carbon as well as sp2 hybrid orbital of this carbon. Therefore, this pi bond is not involved in the conjugation. Therefore, here only the controlling fourth is inductive effect. So therefore, here you see this methoxy group in the oxygen. So this oxygen inductively withdraw the electron from this position while here you come to this position having methylene group. Here methylene group release the electron by inductively. However, here methoxy group only the dominating force. So based on that, we can label that. So this position 
will get delta negative charge while this position will get the delta positive charge. That means that, so this position is electron deficient and this position is electron rich. So now, now we can redraw this structure like this. So now we have come to this alkene part. So this alkene attached with two methyl group, these two methyl group release the electron by inductively. Based on that, we can label like that. So this position is delta positive and this position is delta negative. That means that this position is electron rich. So this electron rich position readily attack this electron deficient position, then followed by this electron abstract this proton, then this electron shifted towards this electron deficient center. So in this E reaction, so this benzene portion act as a unophile, while this portion act as a in, in, in this reaction. So based on that, this reaction to produce this corresponding product. So now you closely look this proton where now it resides. So based on our discussion, so the option B is the correct option for this question. That's it for today's problem. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. And leave a comment if you have any questions. And thanks for watching Chemistry 24 into 7 series where chemistry never sleeps. Bye-bye.